Hey guys, it's tomorrow again. Today I was just gonna I'm making these two like things two or three videos anyhow. Um today I'm gonna be reviewing the metals I'm gonna do a side by side comparison for you of the of the um, the Rico Metalite Rico Metalite M five and this Hue Star or Horse or whatever, um one I bought off of Amazon. The setups are just a tad bit different. The thing I did is I put this in like one of those little let me show you because I let it soak for a bit I put it in just a thing of water because the reed was kind of dry let it soak in there and it's a size 3 Van der Waerden Classic this let it soak and I have my clarinet one and they're soaking as well so I'm just going to give you guys probably a little side by side comparison so and again, I am using these on both sax ones, the Rovner, the Rovner ligatures, the dark, basically the dark or the original, I guess, anyhow you can call it. And also, here's the packaging on the metal lights. This is what they pretty much just come in, come in this box. And the thing that's surprising about the mouthpieces is that they're actually gray. Uh, I guess it's something Rico is doing or something like that. The Soprano one, same thing, pretty much read the description on the back of the box or whatever, I don't know if you can see it or not. Is that, and then, here's a, ch I think it's Japanese, or I think it's Chinese major anyhow. Is that, it's a package it comes in, comes in like this um, padded case or something, and it's like from China, anyhow. And I guess this might be a student mouthpiece, I don't know what the music standards are down there, so. It came with like two things of foam, I think, inside of it. So it's just a basic simple box. Not sure if they're trying to make a cheaper version of the Morgan, because I know the Morgan has like the same design to it. Anyhow, let me give you the Rico M5 test again. So, and this is on a '94 Bundy alto sax. <laughs> That's the Rico M5 with the Alley sax size three reed and the Robner dark. Oops, excuse me. The Robin or Dark ligature. Something weird too on playing this up about that is that they're affiliated with Dario, the guitar strings. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, and um, just kind of found that weird a little bit. And something you guys might want to note about the metal mouth pieces too is it's kind of the chamber is weird on certain cork. Me, I play my cork. I play the sax a lot, so the corks kind of wore down a little bit, actually a lot. So it just like slides on there like that. But I'm gonna try to give you the best test I can. And then again, this chamber inside of this one is like a bullet chamber. It's a lot more smoother. This one, they made a formula to mimic this, just the timbre of the instrument. But let me give you a little test of it. squeaks and squawk. I'm not sure if the mouthpiece might be defective or not. I found a little nick on the side of it, and I'm not sure if that really does. It might affect the airflow immensely, but, yeah. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I'm going to put this up here to the camera so you guys can look at the... I'm going to pull the camera off the stand. You guys can see inside the chamber what it looks like. Here's that. Here's the metal one from China. Let me do a side by side comparison now. See, so there's like a lot more bumps inside of it. Let me just pull the reed off here and just show you what it looks like from the inside of the Rico M7. It's really, really different, you guys, if you guys just look at the chamber inside. Yeah, there's that, and then let me put this up here again. Show you guys again with the inside of the metal one. This one, I think it might be messed up or something, anyhow. But I only paid forty bucks, not complaining that much. So there's that, and it's just like a smooth bullet chamber. Rovner is kind of bumpy, or I mean the metal light. 
but they get they both get the job done. I'm thinking if if I if, if Mr. Helms or my band director and well it's my band director now lets me use this one, I'm pretty much just gonna let my let the lead alto use this one. And then again, also they're both five, so the thing that kind of that was surprised me was they're both on the same standard system. So before, like on the facings where the reed touches the mouthpiece, the facings are exactly the same though on these two. I think I think it's the same. Well, compared from side to side, like where the reed touches are like pretty much similar though. Well, yeah, here's the. I'm doing this, might as well review the reeds too. Here's the LA Sax size three reed. It's not really all that detail, like on the cut, but it's it's pretty simple. It's a really dark though, they're really nice. Here's the Van Doren classical size re uh size three reed. Well not classical but those traditional French cuts. Here's the front to back view of them. Cuts and you guys aren't it's not the camera that's kinda that is actually really kinda like square. Uh, well thank you guys for watching.